Hi guys, this is Steve from Disruptive Wealth Creation. Today, we'll look at why Tesla shares are crashing. A few months ago, they were hitting $200, and now they are hovering around $170. Here are some of the reasons given, but stay to the end and find out the real reason. Firstly, pundits have said that Tesla shares are down because Tesla has reduced the price of its cars in China because they are not selling. Secondly, people say that the competition has arrived. There are other EVs on the market. Some of them are cheaper. They may not have all the bells and whistles of Tesla. Lastly, another reason given is that there was an arson attack on a Tesla plant in Berlin and it has halted production. Watch this space and see the real reason Tesla shares are falling. Tesla shares tumbling more than 8% today, the worst performer in the S&P 500. It's worst day for Tesla since early October. The stock is now down 29% this month, 61% this year. It is the worst performance ever by the stock across both of those time frames. Are there more shoes to drop, Dan? Or, you know, Carter put out a note. He said... This is time to nibble here. Yeah, it might be. I mean, look, the stock is obviously pretty pressed to the downside. But what's going on here is the guy who's the CEO of the company is selling stock. And, and he's been selling stock aggressively. And why is that? On the date that he closed on the Twitter deal for $44 billion, Tesla stock was 227 million. We've been saying this on this desk, that Tesla is on the hook for all of this, Texas shareholders. Because right now, what's really likely happening is there's a margin call. And, and, and the people that he pledged the stock to are selling the stock to raise the capital for it. And so think about all of that that's gone on just because he wanted to be the guy who owns Twitter. I mean, it's just that simple. So to me, I feel sorry for a lot of these Tesla shareholders, the fundamental ones who believe in him in the long, like the, the long term story. But if you look at the holders. You feel sorry for them? I feel sorry for them because he's been asleep at the wheel. He sold them a bill of goods. I've said it on the show. The guy's a liar, okay, just flat out. And he said he was done selling stock how many times over the last year? It's just a fact. I mean, you can yeah. look at me, you can roll your eyes, you can tell me whatever. He lied to his shareholders, and he has been not there for them over the last two months when the stock has massively underperformed the NASDAQ over the last two months that we've seen a huge rally. So to me, I feel sorry for them. But the rest of the shareholders, you know what's really interesting? They're all indexers. And two years ago, on November 16th, the S&P added Tesla to the S&P 500. The stock doubled, and the stock has round-tripped that entire price. It's trading the exact price of where it was on November 16th when S&P said it's going into the index. So, sorry, people. By the way, the 8% mm -hmm. drop today in part because a couple of banks lowered their price targets. Evercore cutting it by a third to 200 bucks a share. Daiwa cutting it to 177 from 240. Um, it, it's definitely Elon Musk-related. Brand destruction over at Tesla. Distraction. You know, those are the reasons. Karen. Right. I, you know, I think with uh, Twitter not doing well and that debt being very expensive, it's understandable that he would want to equitize some of it if he could. So maybe he's looking to buy back some of the debt. Right. Needs to get the money from Tesla shares being sold. I don't know. I'm not sure. But um, I do think that he has damaged the brand. I don't know that it can be. Um, I don't know. Let's say he gets a new CEO into Twitter tomorrow. Does that does that stem the bleeding? It might for briefly. I don't know. It, it doesn't change the need to sell stock. It doesn't. Even if he's not CEO of Twitter. Right. But we don't know how much stock he's sold. Right. And we don't know ab about the debt. We also we have no idea how much the revenues are down, how much money the company is losing. We don't know any of that. So it's sort of hard to say. But I think that when you're saying it's uh, Tesla's Tesla's sort of bill to pay, you're saying in terms of share Tesla shareholders, shareholders have been on the hook because the only because way he, he was not selling. liquid enough, okay. he had to pledge all his okay. shares to buy this. But here's one thing that's a little bit, uh, uh, he d he's been selling 3.6 billion the mm -hmm. other day, maybe he sold a few more billion. This is a gigantic company. Shouldn't it be able to withstand a few billion dollars right. of sales? Except, uh, except, except that it's from the CEO. Right, which yes. is a totally different signal. To his shareholders. He, but does the signal, I don't like Tesla anymore? Or, oh, God, I need the money for something else. I need the money for something That's else. That's what I think it is. This video, please give us a like and subscribe. See you in the next one.